it has finished Altrincham 4 Eastley nil this afternoon and we're talking to uh, Ryan Colclough who scored twice for the Robins this afternoon and had an assist for Jordan Hume as well to boot Ryan it's a really good afternoon uh, on the back of what's been a very good week for the football club yeah I mean um, obviously it's another clean sheet for us which is something we want to do every week um, and it's one of many over the last few weeks and I think every man, even the players that have come off the bench today, have, have dug in and put a shift in. And I think like we were just discussing, as they've not actually had that many chances today or clear-cut chances. And at the other end, we've been lethal. You mentioned another clean sheet. That's four, five clean sheets out of uh, six after a run where we'd gone 23 games without a clean sheet. That's a, a magnificent turnaround. Yeah, I mean, um, it's something we've worked hard on in training and it's something we've been talking about a lot because every game we never we never fear that we're not going to score goals. We think we're going to score all the time because uh, when we're attack, I think we're as good as anyone in the league. Um, but we know that it's been a weakness of ours this season, conceding goals, but more so poor goals that we could really avoid. And I think the last few weeks as we've cut out a lot of those mistakes and it's shown and that's probably the reason why we've had these clean sheets. You set us on the uh, road today with uh, a penalty. It's your second penalty scored of the season. You missed one against uh, South End, <laughs> but you won the penalty as well. Uh, good run down the left and uh, no, no question about it. It was a foul. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously the ball's broke to me, probably um, a little bit lucky, but... I've got the ball out my feet and I've drove into the box. Um, I think I've played a one-two with Cosie, who's given me back, and um, uh, I've got up my man and he's brought me down. There was there was never any hesitation. I was always going to be taking the penalty. I mean, even the one I missed was on target just to keep a guest right, and he got a good hand to it. So I back myself every time, and obviously it's paid off today. And then a big assist for uh, the second goal for Jordan Hume. Uh, you've blocked the clearance by uh, Joe McDonnell in the Eastley goal. Really good uh, block. And it's fallen nicely for you, but you've been uh, aware at time and space. You've set up Jordan and it was another lovely finish. No, I mean, it, again, it's probably something we're on in training as um, the Gaffer and Sorbs have said to me all season about um, my play on the ball when I game forward is they're never going to tell me what to do is because every time I get it, I, I like to cause problems for the opposition and try and create or, or score goals. So uh, the main thing for me that they've worked on is me probably doing the defending side a little bit more and working a little bit harder to, to chase down. And obviously that's paid off today. And I, I think I did it a few times today and won the ball back. But obviously I've seen Jordan in a better uh, space than me. So I've sliding the ball and the finish is, is, again, probably even better. 3-0 early in the second half, and it was a bit of a disaster from Eastley's uh, point of view, but you've shown great awareness to intercept the uh, free kick. Yeah, I mean, again, this is probably something we just discussed, is I like to hang just off the back of, of their sentiment, so they can't really see me trying to anticipate that pass, and lucky enough, I've managed to get there. The centre-arse hesitated, and... I've touched it round him and, and, and slotted it in. It was a great feeling, get another goal and obviously it puts us further ahead in the game and I think then we, we really started to put the pressure on him and I think it could have been even more but in the end it was it was a great win. So 3-0 up inside uh, an hour, two goals for you but you're thinking about your hat-trick but then you got hooked. No, no, I mean uh, it was spoken about. Um, we've we've play, I've played a lot of minutes lately and I've had a few knocks Um a few, few bruises and that, and I, I was just a little bit stiff. So I think we're thinking about the next game now because every game towards the end of the season now, we want to win. We don't want to think we're safe and that's it. We can just put put it in cruise control. We want to finish as high as we can and who knows where that could be. And it's a remarkable uh, turn turnaround. It seems only like a few weeks ago where we were wondering where the next point was coming from, certainly the next win. But all of a sudden, we look a transformed uh, side right throughout the side. And there's plenty of goals in this team. Yeah, I mean, from the outside looking in, I, I, I can see why you would see that and think that. Uh, I think we've started to think that a little bit. But we've never, we've never doubted ourselves as a group. Um, like I said, whenever we go forward, we seem to create something and that's against the very best teams in the league. And like I said, we knew what the problems were and we've worked hard on them. Just hopefully we can continue to do that now and keep as many clean sheets as we can. And then, like I said, I feel we'll always score. So I think we can cause a lot of teams problems. 
two uh, very tough games coming up now. A long trip to Southend next Saturday, and then Chesterfield here a week on uh, Tuesday. That's going to be a really a really good test for how much we progressed. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think I've I've noticed Southend have have definitely improved on their results of late and for the size of the club it's what you'd expect and we're going to go there and I think we're going to be getting there like we're going into every game now we want to win um, and then obviously Chesterfield's going to be a big game because they're up there and it was a good game away but like I said at home I feel we can we can trouble any team and as long as we stick to defending right and no silly mistakes I think we'll we'll give them a good game And what, and what do you think the team can achieve uh, this season? Well his aims are to finish better than we did last season. That that that's always the plan. We know we're one of, I think I, I'm not sure how many there is, but there's only a couple part-time team in the league, and we all work separate jobs. These teams have got the advantage on us. They're training every single day. They've got more time to work as a group. But I think we're definitely a top half table uh, team. So the, to ask us what his aims are, I think we want to be in the top half of the table and. I think we're showing we're going that way now. We've had a little bit of a blip and I think that was injuries as well as COVID and people coming in and out. But I think now we've got in a bit of a run going, the team's staying the same. We've got great subs to come on off the bench and if somebody needs a rest, somebody can come in and fill in those positions. And yeah, I'd like to think we can finish as high as we can and get as close to the playoffs as possible. And it looks the way we're playing at the moment. We can compete pretty well against anybody in this league. We did take one or two big beatings uh, around the turn of the year, most notably against Stockport and a bad day at uh, at Solly Hull. Um, and we probably are a little bit short of the top teams, but once you get below those top three or four, we can compete with anybody else in this league. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't even say it was the top three or four, to be honest, Brad. One or two, I think, with the money Stockport are spending and the players they've brought in. I mean, they're like the Man City of our league. Man City do it to teams every week in the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, they, they turned us over twice and rightly so. They were better than us. But I think that's where we've got to aim to be. And if we can go and play against those teams and give them a good game and, and take a point, then I think every other team should fear us going forward. And finally, uh we must mention the the three lone lads at, at the back, three young players who've come in um, and they've done tremendously well. It's not just about those three, but three young players have, have, have really performed consistently and very, very well in the last few weeks. No, uh, yeah, I think that's been a massive part of it and the fact that it's mani they managed to maintain it and, and stay in the team and no knocks. Um, I think they've done really well and they've been a big part to... Uh, to giving Drenchy little to do, although albeit Drenchy's done very well since he's come in. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're all young lads and they all listen, that's the main thing, as I speak to Eddie every game and they're all willing to listen. If they're willing to listen, they're going to learn and I think every week they're learning and they're getting better and better. That's the thoughts of Ryan Colclough after Altrincham's 4-0 victory over Eastleigh this afternoon. Uh, two goals for Ryan and an assist for Jordan Hume. It's another very good afternoon for Altrincham Football Club.